Now, if you've ever driven down the M6 to its junction with the M1, you'll know the joys, ironic, of the Catthorpe interchange. It's a busy junction, and for a driver such as myself who crawls through it all too frequently, it's been a nightmare for years. I'm delighted to say the first stage of a mammoth engineering project to transform it has been completed. The Catthorpe interchange, where the M1, M6 and A14 meet, has been a pinch point for congestion for years, as well as an accident black spot. Today, the first completed new section has opened to traffic. Here's our transport correspondent, Peter Plisner, with the third part in our Keeping the Midlands Moving series. Travel news for Leicestershire. Heavy traffic southbound on the M1 today through Junction 19. That's at the Catthorpe interchange. Queuing traffic this morning at Catthorpe. Jams like this are only too common at what is one of Britain's busiest junctions. It's also one of the most dangerous, with a spate of serious accidents over the last few years. The junction was originally built on the cheap and was never really fit for purpose. Now a £190 million scheme aims to make Catthorpe safe and free-flowing. It's obviously redu reducing congestion at the junction and the journey time savings that go with that and also it will reduce the number of incidents that we actually suffer at the moment here as well. The most important part of the scheme will be a new underpass linking the M6 and the A14. There will also be new slip roads for drivers travelling to and from the M1 north. But there are concerns that the project doesn't include access to the M1 for southbound traffic. The rubble behind me is all that remains of the bridge that used to carry M6 traffic southbound onto the M1. For the last few months, it's been in contraflow on the bridge that remains, but last night that traffic moved across to this new viaduct. That now clears the way for more work to be done on a site which contractors admit hasn't been easy. Logistically, it's been incredibly challenging. It's at any time you have perhaps 10 to 15 different work areas opened up on just one bridge. So getting around the job can be a long and daunting task. Drivers at this rugby-based haulage firm know only too well how bad things have been at Catthorpe and they can't wait for it to be finished. Customers expect their deliveries on time and we have to make sure it's there on time and that can be quite tricky with the junction the way it was. But now with the improvements made we should be hopefully a little bit more reliable on our timings. Further improvements will be opened over the next few months and the whole scheme is due for completion in November next year. And Peter is at the Catthorpe Interchange for us right now. I hope things have been running smoothly there during the day, Peter. Well, I think uh, what uh, many people were expecting was uh, congestion to disappear when this first phase opens, but that's not the case because it was really repositioning the M6. As you can see tonight, they're still queuing traffic on the A14. This is the M1, free-flowing tonight, although it is in a contraflow. The big difference will happen when this dual carriageway down here opens. That's the link from the A14 to the M6. There's also a new link here being built. That's the uh, link from the A14 to the M1. Again, the cause of much congestion. The final part of the jigsaw is a new link road down from the M1 onto the A14. Again, traffic has been queuing back onto the M1 for many years. A lot of people say this scheme is long overdue, but at least it's now happening and uh, it will be finished in November next year. Peter, thank you. We can bring you